stars of the wedding party too took us to Dubai over the weekend for the premiere of the second installment, Destination Dubai. Entertainment News was there to catch all the highlights and razzmatazz. Do take a look. Love takes center stage as the El Fique Film Collective chooses an Arabian-themed event for the premiere of the sequel to 2016 movie, The Wedding Party. The new release but a more romantic and less comedic drama as directed by Niyi Akimolayo. On the red carpet, stars of the movie, Banky W, Adesua Itomi, Shola Shobowale and others were joined by Patience Ozokwo, Michael Depina and Linitha Crawford, new faces in the latest installment titled Destination Dubai. Hey! You will not marry that woman. You will not. As long as I live, you will not. What is that exactly? Let's see. Three years? China Kaba! Stop me, it's those people. We want to have the wedding next month. Next month? We want to take it to Dubai. We're behind you. Just take all of us to Dubai. It's Young John, the wicked producer. Beauty mama. You know I like you so. Well, um, I don't know if the focus shifts as much as it expands. You know, the the um, I've always seen the wedding party as more of an ensemble cast and an ensemble type of story. You know, like when you watch like the Tyler Perry type of movies where there's a lead story, but there are a lot of other conflicts and resolutions going on. Um, and so, in Wedding Party Part Two, yeah, I mean the the lead are now some other people, but everybody, like not just Duny and Dozier. Tintin and Bam Bam, like everybody's going through their own line and whatever they're going through. So it's just fun to be part of this cast, man. This is like the best cast ever. Like, I don't know what all these real things. I shall know that somebody gets pregnant in the movie, and uh, there's a very beautiful birthing scene at the end of the film that um, is happens to be my favorite um, scene in the movie. And one of my favorite things about it is that there are not really any lines, but you just feel the, the weight of the emotion in the scene. I'm always about the story. So when um, I read the script, I fell in love immediately. I was like, Nonso and Deidre, like, come on, like, where else could you have gone? Like, it was really great. So we were super excited about it. And I've always said from day one that the film is a film um, where every single person is important. Even in part one, it wasn't just about Banki and myself. Uh, it wasn't just about Dunia and Dozier. It was about everybody else that helped to bring the story to life. And Wedding Party 2 is no different. You give me everything I need. Yes. Part 2 sees Nonso and Deirdre's affection blossom into a full-fledged relationship which suddenly becomes an unplanned engagement. All families involved are again caught up in the wedding planning frenzy even as interracial tensions rise. You should know something about Tintin. She's a no sleep poker. She get involved with things that doesn't matter to her. So she's a nosy poker and she took over the place. She took over the wedding as if it's a wedding. It's a mocker's wedding now. So mocker's my family. So I need to go and I take it over to go buy it. Finally, Ma, the drama between you and Patience Ozoko, mm -hmm. what is going to happen? Why do you want me to tell you now? Enter, then watch it. You will see. You're going to have fun. That's just what I'm telling you. They didn't know I was I was against the marriage and then they didn't know I was going to come to Dubai and I came to Dubai before them and they didn't know I saw them at the reception, I hid myself. And then when they had pre party dinner, actually, they were all seated eating and enjoying and I walked in and <laughs> oh shall I couldn't stand it. Everybody stood up. <laughs> it was fun. I, I think the sheer visual beauty of the film, that's the one thing that's going to consistently strike you as you watch. It is such a beautiful movie to watch. 
Um, shooting against the backdrop of du Dubai was just awesome. So that's the one thing that's going to kind of sweep you away in, from scene to scene to scene, beyond the drama and, you know, the moments of high drama and high comedy. Oh, God. Don't hate the player, just hate the game. Well, Following Duny and Dozier's dramatic right. wedding in the first installment, bridesmaid Deirdre Winston and groomsman Nonso take lead as their newfound love but a chain of events that lead to personality clashes. Far away from you for so long. Uh, yeah, it's every girl's worst nightmare, isn't it? To say yes to something that doesn't actually maybe necessarily happen. Um, I can't give away anything obviously before the, the premiere, but uh, I do hope that everything ends up in a happy ending. There's definitely going to be some drama along the way and truths become known and uh, all sorts of crazy things. But uh, yeah, accidental proposal. Fellas, if you're going to do it, make sure that you, you do it properly is all I can say. Um, at the end of the day, the people is what matters. So if you have Nigerians in Dubai, it's still a Nigerian wedding. It's just the, uh, the, the backdrop uh, that makes a difference, you know. So we still brought our Nigerian energy to the space. And uh, yes, uh, mixed with uh, the uh, British family that uh, happens to be uh, the bride's uh, family, you know, so it was a, a very beautiful cocktail, you know, different from anything uh, we've seen before and now set in the UAE. So uh, I don't want to give away too much. I wait for you guys to see the film and let me know how you feel. I have your time all the time in the world. I feel like I'm just South African actress Lenitha Crawford and actor Michael Lupina play Deirdre's parents, whose trip to Nigeria remain unforgettable. Uh, I play Margaret Winston, so the mum, and Margaret, I think, is the more the warmer person in the film because obviously my husband is quite difficult and he's the one that causes a lot of the problems but I think Margaret is the typical mother who wants everything to work out smoothly who supports her daughter and uh, I think she brings a bit of reason and a lot of love to the movie and I play the father Jeffrey Winston of this wicked daughter that gets married to this beautiful Nigerian man and all the families that go mad together and they made me eat pepper soup and if you have never eaten pepper soup before <laughs> it's like a rocket you can take off <laughs> I think the importance of this movie is that it shows that there is love despite color um, despite gender despite where you fall in love despite where you may want to celebrate that love, which is what we did by taking it to Dubai. Um, I think it's a mixing of cultures because we have an English family, we have a Yoruba family, we have an Igbo family. And you know sometimes how diverse we can be um, you know, in, 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 in that mix. But it's to say that let's all come together to see how we can really celebrate that when love is involved, it knows no boundaries, it knows no color, you know, it knows no culture. You just happen to fall in love. Proposed by accident? Why are you shouting? Do you want Deirdre to hear you? How could you let this happen? Hello? Is it me that proposed to her? The wedding party Destination Dubai premieres across several continents this December. I'm getting married. Boys and girls together, people that love me better.